What's up y'all? Big Jake here once again. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to cook up a pork butt on the smoker. We're not going to be doing it low and slow. Oh no. Today we're going to do hot and fast. Let's get this bad boy started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to inject it. So here's my injection recipe. I'll just read it off to you. It's a half a cup of apple juice, one quarter cup apple cider, one quarter cup of beer, and use basic yellow fizzy lager, nothing fancy. Um, one quarter cup of water, one quarter cup of sugar, one quarter cup of salt, or a little bit less if you don't like a real salty rub or uh, injection, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and two tablespoons of whatever kind of rub you're using. Make sure you mix it all up, that way you get the salt, the rub, the sugar, all in there evenly. Like so. I just have a very basic injector. Uh, I got this from uh, BigPapaSmokers.com. You can go grab one of these if you want. Put this over here. Put our injection here. Here's basically what we're going to do. This is very simple. Um, on a big piece of meat like this, I like to inject so you can add flavor into the inside of it. I personally think this really helps. So, and then we're just going to start over here. Now, this is where the bone is. I'm start on the other side so I can kind of give you guys a better idea. And you're going to go basically all the way down, but don't puncture through the meat. Give it a squirt, move to the side, give it a squirt, move to the side, give it a squirt, move it up. As you go up, get to the top. And then you're going to kind of do this like a checkerboard or a chessboard kind of pattern. Go all the way down, squirt, kind of like that. So you're getting the rub all over inside of the meat. Because if you just kind of slam down into the meat and don't do the checkerboard thing, then you're going to have injection pockets or liquid pockets. You don't want that. So this is kind of what, when you speed up, what it kind of looks like. So anyways, we're going to do this whole entire side here, and then um, I'll probably do a little bit on the corners, depending how much of this I have left, um, and then we'll come back and we'll do the next step. Next thing we're going to do, mustard slather. Now, if you don't like mustard, do not worry. I'm not putting this on for the flavor. It's not, uh, it's not going to affect the flavor in any way. What this basically does is, to me, what it helps with is... Um, bark in other words the color of your rub some people say that the mustard helps uh or that you know the, this helps with the color of your meat not your rub excuse me some people say that um this kind of helps with uh you know helping your rub stick onto your meat don't worry your rub's not going to jump off of your meat while you're cooking so i don't really personally think that it helps with that um but i do personally think it helps with the color it gives it kind of a nice uh, kind of helps it like, you know, give it that mahogany kind of color. So, just get it everywhere you can. So there you go. It's basically slathered up. Next thing we'll do is we'll put the, uh, put the rub on. Alright, last step in the uh, pre-marinating process on the pork butt here. We're going to put uh, some rub on it. I use Big Jake's dang old rub. This is my own rub. You know I will not give you the recipe. If you want to buy some and you got a PayPal, Shoot me a PM and we'll work something out. But uh, there are plenty of, you know, good rubs on the market. Uh, Bad Byron's butt rub is a great, you know, rub for butts. If you want to rub your butt with Bad Byron's, I say go for it. It works well. I would do the bottom first if I was you. That's just me. And you want to get this stuff everywhere that you can because this is a big piece of meat. And, uh, you want to cover any place that, you know, on the outside that you can basically get your rub in it and get it in there. All right, here's what the pork butt should look like after the injection, the mustard rub, and uh, rubbing it down with the spice rub. Um, if you can see already, it's already got a nice color to it. That's because I'm using Big Jake's dang old rub. Look at that. It's beautiful. Now, a couple things I did that was very important. I changed this foil out because it had all kind of juice and raw meat and nastiness on it. So I changed this out and I took the cutting board from down here out and I sanitized the bottom, or excuse me, the top of my tile here on my island because this is going to go in your fridge and you don't want any cross contamination. You don't want raw meat on the outside of your foil. That's nasty. All right. 
So here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna wrap it up. Also, just a heads up, when you're injecting your pork butt, stuff's gonna squirt out the sides and, and all over, it's gonna be like a Peter North movie, you know what I'm saying? So there's gonna be, I got juice on my shirt, there's stuff just everywhere. So wear protective eyewear if you have to, and uh, be careful, be cautious. I'm gonna wrap this up like this. That's a pretty good wrap right there, but we're going to do at least two because, again, this is going into your refrigerator like it is. If you have some kind of casserole dish or something you want to put it in so that way, like, this juice doesn't run out, I think that's a great idea. You should do that. Me, I'm not going to do that because I'm a professional. I'm just going to stick it in here like this. Just wrap it up nice and tight. That's all you got to do. All right, now this is gonna go in your fridge. Don't touch it. Don't open it. Don't look about. Don't look at it. Don't even think about it. Put it in the fridge. Let it sit for a day. All right. Right now it is 4:30 in the afternoon. I'm probably gonna put this pork butt on about 1 p.m. tomorrow. So put it in the fridge. Let it sit in there. Let it do its thing. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Later. All right, y'all. Let me show you guys how I'm setting up my fire. Uh, it's the next day. About to take the pork butt out. I got a, a chimney of coals getting lit right now. My chimney starter. Going to be using the minion method in my WSM, my Weber Smoky Mountain. Uh, I got this coffee can in here. What I'll do is I'll pour the lit coals in the middle. Take the coffee can out. The lit coals will then burn slowly outward uh, towards these other unlit coals. I also have five pieces of wood in here. Yeah, they're about this size. Maybe a little bit bigger. Um, got two apple, got a red oak, got a pecan, got a cherry. I put the wood underneath the charcoal. That way when the, this stuff in the middle burns slowly out and it hits the wood, the wood smolders underneath the charcoal and doesn't catch fire. Because I'm using wood chunks, I'm not going to wet them. You don't need to wet them. So anyways, this is kind of the way we're going to set everything up. And then uh, I'm going to use my Weber Smoky Mountain here and not put the water pan in. So you're going to have, well, that much space between the meat and the fire. So you'll kind of be doing indirect, but in a direct method. I'm going to put the fat side down, and then when that fat renders off, it'll hit those coals, the steam will come back up, and it'll give it a nice flavor, a nice kind of charcoal flavor. So anyways, uh, I'm going to go back inside, put another layer of rub on the pork butt, and then set everything up and I'll show you how, uh, how we're going to run this. Alright y'all, it has been about an hour and a half. The pork butt is on the Weber Smoky Mountain. We're at about 295 on the dome temp. My, I got my Maverick running. Uh, the internal temperature of the pork is 91 and we got 356 uh, at the grate. A little hotter than I want to be running, but I'm not too worried about it. Let me show you how I got things set up here. There's the pork butt. Um, I don't know, you probably can't see, but there's no water pan in there. So that fat is just dripping down onto those coals, and the uh, steam from that is coming back up. We're already getting a nice bark on it. It's looking good. See over here, the fat's rendering off nicely. So got the probe in there, and the, actually in the money muscle. There's my probe for my great temp. So um, you can run a little bit uh, cooler than this. I like to be about 275 on the dome. So I was running about 25 degrees hot, but I'm not too worried about it. I think everything's going to come, you know, be all right. Uh, what we're going to do is on our Maverick over here, we're going to, uh, once we get to 160 internal temperature, uh, we're going to put it in an aluminum foil pan with a little mixture and we're gonna wrap it and uh, I'll show you what I do when we get to that point. All right, again, it's been about eh, about an hour and 45. Let me see what time it is exactly. Yeah, I put it on at one o'clock. It's, yeah, it's 2.45 now, so hour and 45 minutes exactly. All righty, we will, we will be back. All right, pork butt has hit 160 internal temperature and uh, off camera, thanks to my lovely assistant, uh, we stuck it in that aluminum tray Check it out. Look at how it looks, people. Look at uh, all the fats rendered off. It's got some nice bark on it. Uh, it looks a little darker in the camera than it actually does uh, when I'm looking at it here. But I like the way it looks. I like the way it's coming out. So here's what we're going to do from here. 
I got a mixture here. This is a half a stick of butter, quarter cup of apple juice, tablespoon of rub, tablespoon of brown sugar. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna pour it over the top like this. Shouts out to my neighbor's kids. What's up, y'all? I'm just gonna pour it over like that. All right. It's gonna add some extra flavor to it. We're gonna take some foil. Pick this up. If I can pick it up. Actually, we're gonna do it like this. There we go. And what you're gonna do now, basically, you're gonna be steaming it inside of the foil. This will speed up the cooking process, number one, and it'll give it some nice flavor. At this point, you don't need any more bark, you don't need any more smoke. Your meat, ooh, that's hot. Should've got my gloves, oh well. You don't need any more uh, smoke flavor. You don't need any more bark. Um, by the way, it's been four and a half hours. So to get to 160, that's how long it took. Now we're gonna let this cook until it gets to an internal temperature of 190, and then we're gonna take it off and we'll let it rest for uh, 45 minutes or so. All right, we'll be back. All right, y'all, it's time to pull my pork. Um, the pork cooked for five and a half hours. If I was to guess, I would say my average temperature was somewhere around 330, something like that. Um, a little higher than I wanted to cook it as far as temperature wise, but I think it came out okay. Um, I also let it rest for about 50 minutes at this point. So. Let's check it out. By the way, this was a 10 pound pork butt. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. So, there it is. Now personally, let's check it out behind the camera before I say anything. I think it's got a pretty nice color. Maybe a little bit darker than I want it to be. Um, but I don't know, it looks pretty good to me. Looks like the fat rendered off real nice. Let's see if this bone comes out clean. It's already pretty much out. I mean, look at that. That's it, man. That bone is, there you go. I'm gonna put uh, everything that's been pulled over here. We're gonna set that bone aside. Um, you can see the smoke ring right there. You got a nice bark on it. Let's give, one, let's give like this piece right here by the bone a little taste because you got a really nice bark, a really nice smoke ring. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's nice. You turn this around, let it kind of sit in the, uh, in the juices. I'm gonna grab the trash can because see this, there's a little bit of fat left here, not much. I mean, there's a very thin layer of fat left. I'm gonna take that off. You don't wanna eat that, or I don't wanna eat that anyways. Most of it is off. If there's any of this little, like, kind of like, you know, gelatinous fat, um, you can pull it off, dump it in the trash if you want. Set this back over again. But, um, yeah, see, this just pulls apart. This just pulls right apart. It's got a great smoke ring on it. Um, nice color to it. Put it over here. Pulls apart nice. Um, one thing to me that I really like, or that I have noticed, is that it pulls nicely, it pulls freely, um, but it's not mushy. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like, um, in my opinion, that's where I like my pork. That's where I like to pull my pork at. So let me take one of these pieces here. You can kind of um, dip it in this like, you know, au jus or au jus, if you want to call it that. Oh yeah, that's great. Um, I made some homemade barbecue sauce to go with it, in my personal opinion. I don't even know if this will need barbecue sauce. Um, I was going to maybe try to like mess with the money muscle and cut it out. At this point, I don't even think I'm going to do that. So, but anyways, you can see like it's pulling really nice. It's uh, coming apart like you want. So anyways, I'm going to pull the rest of this. Um, this is how you do it. Pork butt, hot and fast, five and a half hours. Pulls nicely. It's got a nice color to it, nice smoke ring. Alrighty, uh, any questions, hit me with some comments. I'm out of here, OD'd, later. <laughs>